Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with a WBZ News update for you. Oh, Airham man is charged with arson and attempted murder in a house fire. Police say 40 year old Mondell Johnson attacked a woman inside the house on Restful Lane last week. According to authorities, Johnson doused the woman with fluid, then set the house on fire. That woman was able to escape the burning home and ran to a neighbor's house for help. She was treated and released from the hospital. The house was destroyed by that fire. Investigators are trying to figure out what sparked a massive late night fire in a Hampton, New Hampshire. Hampshire building, the Seawalk Motel and Laundromat, and a soup kitchen were all destroyed. One woman had to wait to be rescued by firefighters on the roof. The owner says she plans to rebuild the Seawalk. Students at Lowell High School have been dismissed from class because of a gas leak there. Police say someone smelled a slight odor, which was traced to a heating unit for the swimming pool. National Grid and the Department of Public Works are on the scene. So far, no reports of any illnesses there. Now let's check in with meteorologist Barry Burbank for a look at our forecast. And once again, Barry, we're talking snow in April. What? Yeah, it's that four-letter word. Man, it's going to be coming down in a pretty good clip this afternoon, Chris. But don't be alarmed. Don't push the panic button. We're not going to have anything like what happened 36 years ago when I was here talking about major snowfall. We were forecasting a big storm that entire week. And man, did it ever come down more than a foot in many spots. This time around, Maybe just a couple of inches showing up on some grassy surfaces or certainly non paved surfaces. But that snow is going to be coming through and moving through into the Boston area first part of this afternoon. But we'll be exiting the second half of the afternoon, so it is not going to be long lasting. Eventually, it's going to start warming up. As the snow starts this afternoon, the temperature is going to drop in the middle 30s. And then by late this afternoon, once the snow ends, the temperature is going to start rising into the 40s and probably be close to 50 degrees this evening in much of southern New England as we get some scattered showers moving on through. And then those showers will move off to the south, maybe ending with a few wet snowflakes in the early morning hours. Starting cloudy tomorrow, clouds thinning north and west, seeing most sunshine farther north and west of Boston tomorrow. Whereas over the city, a little bit of sun through the clouds. And then we may have a little bit of snow coming back up here, up over southeastern Massachusetts tomorrow night into early Sunday morning as we get brushed by yet another storm, which may cause a coating to a couple, three inches on non paved surfaces on the Cape uh, early Sunday morning. After that, it becomes partly sunny. It's still on the cold side, though, for days to come. Maybe by the end of the upcoming week, we will warm up, Chris. We'll wait for it, Barry. <laughs> Thank you very much. And thanks for checking in with us. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.